What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cardboard Kane and we are about a week and a half away from Surging Sparks coming out November 8th. We are going to be opening three building battle boxes today along with 12 booster packets also. Now, obviously very big set because Pikachu gets its first SAR, SIR or alternate art for those um, of uh, Sword and Shield generation and back. Um, very big deal. Gets its first one and there's a lot of... <laughs> A lot of big hits in this set. You got your lot. Is, is it is it Latios or Latius? That's the um. That the, like either one. Both of those pools will be big. Um, one of them comes as an IR, the other comes as an SAR. Unfortunately, that also means that if you're lining it up in a master set binder, they're going to be on um opposite pages from each other. Unfortunately, so if that is okay with your uh, your OCDs, it is. You might have to do some aesthetic re uh. Rearranging, thanks to on part the Pokemon Company and their weird way of doing things. Anyway, let's get into these boxes. So we've opened these Build and Battle boxes on the channel before. Nothing too special within, but what to expect when you get one. So you've got your box here, you know, little box here. We don't have to go into overhead view for this because it's a very tiny product. Open it up, you get a little, little like a little sheet here, a little checklist of what to expect in the set, obviously. Very big set by the looks of it, mind you, because we're going all the way to 252 at the end of Secrets. So, pretty big set. Um, very handy to have early on, but unfortunately, like if you're master setting without doing variants, very handy to have, because I think the ETBs are being delayed on release. So, very, very handy to have. The only problem is they don't show variants, which we do cover on the channel, and I'll do my very best around some point to kind of give like an update, a refresher video of what to expect to come along so you can make spaces here and there in your binders. If we don't master set the... Uh, this, I feel like this one is going to be harder to master set than Twilight almost. We'll see, because still Greninja still eludes me. All right, so you get that, and you get a little promo little promo um, binder here. Like this is your, your pre-made deck, along with a promo topper there, which is NDD, one of four, I believe it's like... Indity, Gouging Fire, I don't remember the other two. We'll figure it out very soon. But you get this one, so I'm just going to crack this one open quickly because this is a good opportunity for those out there who are trying to master set with variants. So we're going we're gonna to talk about variants already. So you've got your Black Star promo there, along with your trainer cards, which I usually use now and then as a spacer in the book, just so it looks nicer. Um, okay, so this is your deck. So this is cards that are usually uh, going to be within the set and around the set. So it uses trainer cards from other sets and that kind of stuff. So um, if you haven't gotten yourself a Professor's Research non-hollow by now, here's your chance. Uh, Magneton, Relo, Magnezone, nope. Sports Guidance, going through. Duskball's a new one. Duskball feels really good, by the way, in this. Uh, Rapska is going to be... Ooh, what is that? I didn't do that. They pack some lint with my um, my pre-made deck. So Rapska is going to be one of your um, non-holo variants. Build and Battle Box exclusive. So that's your first one. I don't think there's any other ones in. Ooh, buddy Buddy Poffins. Always welcome. Uh, Tapu Koko is going to be another one. So that's your second variant. And obviously other variants are going to be in the next couple boxes, providing that we pull different pre-made decks because they all come with like different archetypes, which is the headache. So out of that one, we got, you know, we got technically, technically three building battle exclusives and a buddy buddy poffin, which is highly sought after most of the time. And also obviously one of the four Black Star promos. So let's actually just open them all up and see what we got in each one. Put that aside. All right, cool. So we got Magneton. So right now we're two for two, which is great. Uh, we might as well crack this one open very quickly. Because for those out there master setting, these particular variants can be a massive pain, like a massive headache to get, purely because, purely because um, you can't exactly just like type non hollow variant into eBay or something and people will know what you're talking about and unfortunately it looks like I've got the same the same pre-made deck for this one as well so we're probably not going to see 
anything different out of this one. Yeah, so it's the exact same pre-made deck, unfortunately, but different promo topper. So we are just doubling up there. So nothing special to show there. Just chuck this over here. And for our third one, we got... Ah, uh, we got NDD again. Okay. A little bit unlucky there. <laughs> I think at this point, I think I'm missing the water the water one. I don't know who the water the water promo is. It might be... No, I don't think it's quite a while. Okay, so it's... Hopefully, it's a di it's the same promo, but hopefully it's a different deck. Alright, it's the Pikachu one. So yeah, this is probably the water one. Uh, there's that. There we go. The Quaxley, Rapska, Rapska. So if you haven't by this point gotten your non holo exclusive for Quarkoval. Oh, actually, no. It's not one. Okay. But it is an SSP one. Um, yeah, so looks like I've gotten a little bit unlucky there with my um, <laughs> with my non holo exclusives. We're going to have to go through some of the other ones later on because I believe Gouging Fire should be another one. Um, Gouging Fire should be another one. <sighs> Can't think of which other ones else there is. It must be a, there must be a water one. There has to be a water one. I'm not too certain. But yeah, then you your free your free binder spaces basically there. Your trainer tip cards in the back, kind of teaching you how to play or what to expect per pre made deck. So there we go. We've got stack of three, stack of three, and there's a box missing. It's here somewhere. It's to my side. Stack of, no, stack of four, sorry. They come with four booster packets each. So, very slight. So, four, 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 twelve. So, 24 packets in total for this opening. So, let's get stuck right into it. We'll go from right to left. Usually with pre-releases, I don't get very... I don't get very lucky in terms of um, my pulls. Stellar Crown did me proud because we managed to actually pull the, uh, the Space Turtle during the pre-release which was amazing, and nothing for our first packet. Um, unlike other sets like, obviously, Twilight Masquerade and all that kind of stuff, which has absolutely eluded me on the Greninja. Some people just get lucky and just pull it like it's butter. <laughs> and people like me that have to make a meme out of it because I'll never get it. Well, it feels like that anyway. It'll, it'll happen when I least expect it. <laughs> and it'll be a happy day. Nothing in the second packet. So in terms of like hit rates for building battles, I really don't know how it works. Like it feels absolutely random. It almost feels like they just like push a whole bunch of packets off the booster pack line and just throw them into box, like into little mini boxes. Because some people's ones are like just filled with stuff. And then some of them are just completely empty. Like the feeling of this first one. Okay, we've got a Durant for the first one. Nasty little card to use in pre-release, mind you, because I think once he gets summoned, you mill a card off the top of the opponent's deck. Yep, and that hurt me a lot during the pre-release. <laughs> was not happy. Was not happy. Uh, as you saw, I think in the as you saw in the pre-release decks that I went through, there was only one rare candy. I lost the one rare candy in my deck thanks to Durant. So, thanks Durant. <laughs> not to mention, it has an amazing looking um uh, SIR that continues on okay so the first box kind of a dud unfortunately I'm putting that to the side and just stacking everything up because I feel like I'm about to kind of overload here very quickly so one hit out of the first one or hit out of the first booster box the whole build and battle box uh, getting into the second build and battle box kind of hoping for at least one SIR out of these would be nice but also at the same time being realistic probably not <laughs> because my luck is oh okay there we go we got a lot of this okay okay all right so we want we're, we're we're two for two in one hits per um per box so far which is welcomed as you can see already i'm, I'm also prepared with my uh my sleeves for the set um ultimate guard katanas um I couldn't just get any old blue because I had a couple blue sleeves left over from the last set. And they weren't just blue, they were blue bird. So thankfully I found some over the weekend. So now I can actually like, you know, sleeve everything and start seating everything in the binders and all that kind of stuff. Um, gonna be going with a yellow binder as well, just to kind of fit the theme. 
Good old yellow and blue, very, very highly contrasting. Watchful, Drillper, and Tapalele. Alright, third packet into the second box. I'm not too sure what the pull rates of this set are. I don't know if they've, um, I don't think, at least it hasn't been reported so far, but this is only during pre-releases, so hit, hit reports. Like, oh, it'll happen, it'll happen. <laughs> Three. Okay, so this box itself is not too terrible. Relatively low end hits, but hits nonetheless that we do need. So Tatsugiri Terra. Jeez. Look at the top 10 cards in your deck. You may put any number of Pokemon you find there onto your bench. Probably use that with Terrapagos, maybe? <laughs> That's the good thing about these sets now, like lately. They've actually started to reinvent the meta. Or just reinvent, like, what decks you're going to see flying around. Like, I wasn't expecting to see Terrapagos just, like, starting to fly around, like, as a meta deck straight away. It very quickly did. Scary deck. Very imposing too. And okay, nothing in our last packet. So two hits from our second box of Surging Sparks. So not terrible, not terrible. All right, last box of Building Battle. Whoops, that one didn't want to leave the packet. All right, Let's see how we go. Animouse, Bupa, Jasmine's, Reggie. And nothing. So obviously here yeah, I'm just gonna point this out. So Rapska being a star hollow, a star um, a star rare, will come in hollow foil and then reverse hollow as well. So which is why that non-hollow variant in these build and battle boxes is needed for your Stuff. I'm not too certain yet which is going to be the GameStop, EV Games, and Best Buy promos yet. I would assume it'll... I don't know. Tough call. I haven't looked at the entire set yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm unsure as to which two Pokemon they're going to choose. Oh, wow, that's a nice one to get. That's a very nice one to get. Okay, you know what? There's, there's nothing more fitting than pulling Pikachu. <laughs> pulling Pikachu in Pikachu set. That's so good. That is so good. Oh, that's amazing. They look so nice. I, I love the rainbow border, to be honest. Wasn't a massive fan of the rainbow cards in um, Sword and Shield, unfortunately. Sun and Moon didn't look too bad, but Sword and Shield were kind of was a little bit of a sensory overload to me. <laughs> Wasn't too big of a fan. I've always liked the gold cards. The rainbow ones kind of seemed out of place for me. Denny, Eternatus, and Gouging Fire. So, obviously, when I was talking about before, Gouging Fire does have a non hollow exclusive. Does it? It should. I'm pretty certain it does. It has to. Because it comes as a promo as well. Usually, if something comes as a, like a Black Star promo, there should be. Now, now I'm, now I'm forgetting myself, but I'm very certain it does. But I will cover this in future videos very shortly afterwards. So, do keep in or keep tuned for those ones. Uh, actually, that's what I think. Now I remember Chin Pao's the other build and battle um, promo that you get out of the four. And last card, and unfortunately nothing, so only a Pikachu out of that last one. So at least we got a hit, hit, and then two hits out of each of the boxes. My luck sometimes, not a single. So nothing too huge yet. Hopefully we get something out of our, what was it? Nine packets here, sorry. Oh, sorry, I completely miscounted. So I said like 24 packets. 12, 9, 21 packets. One. I went and got a little bit too uh, ahead of myself on that one. Let's just put these aside because I'm running out of room. So our final nine packets of this little pre-set opening. Hoping we can get something nice. Dusk Ball is going to be really, really cool. I, I, I feel as though we're going to see a lot of Dusk Balls happening. 
Like, it just feels like the perfect card to have in there for for Iono. <laughs> like, either you're using Iono or your opponent's using Iono. It just seems cool. So it's like, as you know, like, you know, they, they use Iono. And then, oh no, all my cards that I wanted went to the bottom of my deck. And then, you know, Dusk Ball, I'll get whichever one I want back. And if you pull, like, multiple Dusk Balls, then you do that again, and again, and again, and again. Obviously, once you pull one thing with Dusk Ball, the whole deck gets shuffled, but then, you know. As they say, in the old game of Pokemon, thinning is winning, so... Hey, enriching energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to your Pokemon, draw four cards. Not bad. Not bad. Terrapagos and Oricorio. See, now the A spec that I want to get is... And it's a bit morbid. <laughs> it's a little bit morbid, the, the, the A spec I want to get. It's for the United Wings deck. And I think it's it's called it's it's a blender. I know it's a it's a blender, and it's a little bit concerning, a little bit morbid. So the blender is, I think, the card reads out: search for your deck, and discard up to five Pokemon. The whole point of United Wings, you want the United Wings birds to be in the discard pile, so your United Wings Pokemon on the field do more damage. Just the fact it's a blender, it's like okay, <laughs> we're we're. Hmm. It feels it feels morbid when you when you look too far into it. It is what it sadly is. My cyclizer. All right, so we've hit our second base set Terra breakthrough. This attack also does thirty damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, I feel as though benched Pokemon are going to be very very scared nowadays. It's, there's so many cards attacking the bench now. You know, I can't remember. I feel like Manaphy stops that. Yeah, I think Manaphy stops that. This attack does say damage 20. It's result damage? I think it does. I think it does. I think. I haven't used Manaphy in so long. Because I just haven't bothered. But now it's getting to the point where it's like, uh-oh, we have to again. Nothing in that one. So we're down to our second pack of the third lot. Or rather, I should just say it the way it is. We're up to our fifth packet. <laughs> Making things confusing, as usual. Skarmory, Tandemouse, Meddling Memo, Appleton, Paridon, Yamask, and... Nothing in that one. Alright, so we're hoping for like at least two hits out of these remaining four packets, hopefully. When you kind of put statistics into it. Trap Inch. Now this one is like, there's a card in this set that uses this, and I can't remember which one it was. I'm gonna put that to the side just so I can remember for later on. But there's a certain card that is used to it. I swear, I love just Alolan Dugtrio is just the weirdest cool card. <laughs> it's the weirdest cool card out there. Just the fact it's just just a bunch of Fabios popping out of the ground. Snorlax, Rufflet, Trap Inch, Witch In, Magneton, Quaffleval, Surfer, and another Durant. Unfortunately, we've already hit a double. <laughs> Durant is our first double. Chuck that over there. Alright, two packs going. We've got some hits, not massive hits, but you know, at the very least. We did hit into the Pikachu. Um, Building battle decks are always going to be a gamble, no matter what. <laughs> They're always going to be a gamble in terms of the packs inside. Even well, there we go. We're going to buy Brava. There we go. We've got an IR. At least we got an IR. Woo, okay, we got an IR. Um, God, they look so good. The the the, the art in Scarlet Violet really does look good. Like you can't you can't fault it. And I'm sorry for the glare. I should have probably like kind of showed you the card before I uh, before I chucked it on into the sleeve. Before <laughs> we get heaps more glare on it. All right, absolute last pack. Let's see what we get. 
will it be magic or will it be common cardboard cane l possibly it is going to be oh now we got something we've got a we've got a full up melodic ah i called it didn't i we're hoping for at least two more hits in these last four packets <laughs> called it <laughs> there we go i ran on statistics the statistics ran with me and didn't make me look like the fool <laughs> we'll take that we'll take that um obviously as we do now or well, we go over it on this channel quite a bit if you want next to almost guaranteed spread of hits then you buy your booster boxes especially with main sets like this self like this one like the main set expansions holiday sets it changes a little bit obviously because there's no booster boxes but lately with the holiday sets they have make they have made them seeded so it's a little bit easier to know what you're going to get when where but when it comes to main set stuff you want to try to probably stick to to booster boxes and pull through those because you'll know that you're going to get x amount of this x amount of that x amount of that and possibly not yep it's better to say possibly not get an sir in a box because i think on average now it's like in one case you get three sirs and possibly one of the boxes will have like two sirs or secret rare and sir so in this one so in 21 packets we got durant cyclizer enriching energy set mascot which is pretty cool to get pretty happy with that one pikachu vibriva ir tatsugiri x terra latius ex durant and a melodic full art and that brings us to one two three four five six seven eight nine so you know what nine hits <laughs> put that there for you to see there nine hits out of 21 packets for my entry into surging sparks not bad i'll take it i'll take it i will very much take it and obviously the star of today's video i do believe has to easily be the pikachu the old the old mascot right there we take those i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do join me in the upcoming videos especially coming from november 8th onwards where we should be opening over the course of time two full cases of surging sparks along with any other little things that pop along the way you guys take it easy and i'll catch you in the next one